Welcome to my YouTube channel AeroVision Info. In today's video, we're diving deep into the 2025 COMAC C919, China's ambitious leap into the competitive world of commercial aviation. A direct challenger to the Airbus A320neo and Boeing 737 MAX. The C919 marks a major step forward for China's aviation industry, and 2025 is shaping up to be a crucial year in its journey. The COMAC C919 is a narrow-body twin-jet airliner developed by the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China, commonly known as COMAC. It's designed for short to medium haul routes, with a maximum range of around 5,500 km depending on the variant. It typically seats between 158 and 174 passengers, depending on the configuration. The year 2025 is especially significant because it marks a period of expanded deliveries and growing airline adoption. After receiving its type certification from the Civil Aviation Administration of China in late 2022 and entering commercial service in 2023, the C919 spent the next two years proving itself. Now, in 2025, the jet is flying more regularly, with an increasing number of airlines placing orders and integrating the aircraft into their fleets. China Eastern Airlines was the launch customer for the C919, and they've been instrumental in the aircraft's early commercial operations. Their feedback has helped Comac fine-tune various aspects of the jet, including cabin comfort, avionics reliability, and maintenance support. In 2025, China Eastern plans to expand their C919 fleet, and other airlines such as Hainan Airlines, Chengdu Airlines, and even some Southeast Asian carriers are evaluating or finalizing their orders. What makes the C919 so significant is not just its design, but what it represents, China's desire to break the global duopoly held by Airbus and Boeing. For decades, those two giants have dominated commercial aircraft manufacturing. But with growing geopolitical tensions and supply chain challenges, Many airlines especially in the Asia-Pacific region are looking to diversify their fleets. The C919, built domestically in China with increasing localization of components, offers an alternative that's especially appealing to Chinese carriers. Now let's talk about performance and technology. The C919 is powered by CFM International Leap 1C engines, the same engine family that powers the A320neo and 737 MAX. These engines offer greater fuel efficiency, lower emissions, and reduced noise compared to older models. The aircraft also features fly-by-wire controls, advanced aerodynamics, and a high level of automation in its cockpit design. One area where Comac is making visible improvements in 2025 is in supply chain independence. While early models of the C919 relied heavily on Western suppliers for key components say like avionics, flight control systems, and landing gear rather 2025 models are gradually shifting toward more localized parts. This not only helps China achieve greater self-reliance in aerospace but also insulates COMAC from international sanctions or export restrictions. Passenger experience is another aspect COMAC is working to refine. The cabin of the C919 is spacious for a narrow body, with modern lighting, quieter engines, and options for both business and economy class configurations. Airlines are also offering in-flight Wi-Fi, USB charging port, and improved cabin pressurization, making flights more comfortable for passengers on domestic and regional routes. Of course, there are still challenges ahead. Comac faces a steep learning curve when it comes to mass production, global certification, and after sales support for the C919 to compete globally, it must earn certification from agencies like the FAR and ESA, a process that can be long and politically complicated. Furthermore, 
Airlines around the world will be watching closely to see how the C919 performs in real-world operations over several years. In 2025, the production rate of the C919 is still relatively low compared to Boeing and Airbus, but Comac has announced plans to ramp up manufacturing significantly over the next five years. The goal is to produce as many as 150 jets per year by the early 2030s, with the hope of capturing a substantial share of the global narrow-body aircraft market. Beyond China's domestic airlines, there are also early signs of international interest. Several countries in Africa, the Middle East, and Southeast Asia are in talks to evaluate the C919 as a cost-effective alternative for regional routes. If Comac can offer competitive financing, strong reliability, and timely delivery, the C919 could find a solid niche in emerging markets. In conclusion, 2025 is a defining year for the Comac C919. It's no longer just a prototype or a national ambition, it's now a flying reality, carving out its place in commercial aviation. With increasing adoption, technical refinements, and strategic positioning, the C919 is not only a new aircraft, it's a symbol of China's technological rise and a potential disruptor in a market long ruled by two players. Thanks for watching this video on AeroVision Info. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you never miss our latest aviation insights. Fly high and stay tuned for more updates from the skies.